Hi everybody and welcome to Badminton Racket Review. Today we are going to test this Yonex Dura 6 Badminton Racket. Um, as with all the other videos, before we start we'll just go through the racket specification. Um, so this is an even balanced racket. In actual fact I think most Duras uh, we've tested anyway are even balanced. Um, it tells us that it's a super slim shaft and it's yep, reasonably slim. Not sure if you can see that. It's a 4U weight category racket and the maximum tension on the strings is only 22 pounds. So if you go over 22 pounds and the racket snaps, there's no warranty against that. So the recommended is 22 and I know most players, uh, club or otherwise, string higher than 22. But that again is down to your own preference. Um, we haven't got anything on here around regarding the uh, stiffness of the shaft. Right, I'm just reading the uh, tester's notes on the feel of the racket, how it felt to test. So it felt light, so it's, in terms of how it feels, in terms of weight, it's light, it feels very light, I, have, I can concur. It does feel very light and very airy. Um, speed is fast, it felt very good through the air, very, very fast, and actually, in actual fact, the, the shaft feels quite flexible in terms of uh, the usability of the racket. So, uh, as you know, as a company, we're not really about feel because that's everyone has a different feel. If so another player took this racket off me to, right now, they may feel it feels completely different to how another player makes it feel. So that's why we don't talk about feel a lot, but it's been requested, so we're doing feel. Uh, now I'm gonna move on to the design of the racket. Uh, well, Yonex, we all know, great standard print quality, uh, very good design. Uh, the design of this racket does highlight the dual personality. So one side is for the forehand, another side is for the backhand. Um, better off checking the Yonex website to see exactly which side should be for which. I know we get a lot of people commenting which side should I use for my forehand, but check the Yonex website. I believe this racket is all about the shape of the racket. One side is slightly more, sorry, the shape of the, the head one side is rounded and one side is slightly more boxed um, and you use uh, your forehand and backhand accordingly to that. Um, it's the, some nice detailing on the head, uh, nice use of colour and the contrast colour is very good. You've got a sort of white, a pink and a lighter pink uh, with black contrast on the racket. It's quite nice. Take a look at this, at this uh, video for a close up look at the racket. Okay, so now we should do a weight test on the racket um, to see how much this racket weighs in the usable form. So that's come out at 87.6, which is normally a 3U category, but actually it's not that far off a 4U category. And if we were to take the grip off and the strings off, it would fall into the 4U category. But as I keep saying again and again and again, what is the point in advertising the weight of something that's not usable? So the actual usable weight of this racket um, is going to be at the very least 87 grams, irrespective of what strings you use. Um, there is a weight uh, racket weight video on this YouTube channel which shows you the variation between the slimmest string in the world versus a 0.7 mil gauge string, which is normally the thickest people go to. Um, however, if you add a grip, a thick grip, it will it'll add a considerable weight to the racket. Um, but have a look at that video if you're really concerned about weight. But we always measure weight of the racket using the grip as set by manufacturer and a 0.69 mil gauge string. Okay, so uh, the price of the Dura 6 in the UK, I'm just, I've got a list of stuff here if you keep wondering why I'm looking down. It's around £120 UK price. Um, price and that price is relevant to uh, July, uh, August 2017. Um, it's prices go down up all the time. So the, the price we're quoting you is accurate at the time of this video. 
Um, it could be different in, a, in, in different countries. So I know a lot of people come in from Asia to comment on our videos, India, um, please check the price locally, but if it's a UK price, it's £120. Okay, now what we're gonna do is a smash test. We're gonna see how well this racket performs at smashing the shuttlecock. Okay, that's done, that went very well. We'll do a maneuver test now to see how well this racket accelerates through the air. So we wanna measure it air speed of the racket. Brilliant, that's gone very well. And now what we're going to do is do a control test, which tells us, uh, which shows us how well this racket performs at controlling the shuttlecock. Okay, all tests are done. Um, as ever, the results of these tests will be posted to the Badminton Racket Review website, which is really, really soon due for release. Um, it is, uh, as I've said in other videos, we're, we're just nailing the detail now. You know, the predominant part of the work has been done, and all we want to do is get the detailing right, uh, test for any errors uh, in programming and stuff like that, Otherwise, we're really close. We'll, we will be sending out newsletters. We will be making a video to emphasize the launch of the site. Um, but right now, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please do uh, subscribe to Bampton Racket Review so we can keep you informed. And also, we've got a lot more videos to come on this YouTube channel. We've got m many more Yonex, Yonex rackets to test, including more Duras and the Z-Strike. We've got some Voltrix, we've got the DGs, we've got the Victor Hyper Nanos, the Jet Speed, some Apex rackets, Kampu rackets. So there's a lot more to do on this side of the year. And there'll be a load more to do at later part of the year where we do more testing of leaning rackets, Carlton rackets, Babalat rackets, Mizuno, Goosen, and hopefully, if all goes well this year, we will do a string test to test which tension gives us the best smash power and eliminate the myth uh, or, or, or everyone's own idea, idea of what does it. We're gonna just do a test and prove it once and for all. So hopefully we can fit that in this year. If not, it'll be next year, but we are aiming to do that this year. See you on the next video and thanks for joining in today.